Order, order. I have recommended to the Tesco management, Mr. Patch, that you are a thief and you should be banned. But at least I don't snitch on pumpkin thieves. Excuse me? No, I don't think I will. Mr. Pumpkin. This is such a crock of pumpkin. Please mind your language, Mr. Pumpkin. You're in a Tesco. No, no, I'll do. Mr. Patch, I will give you one last time to speak. Mr. Patch doesn't want it. He doesn't need to be labeled still worthy of being a Tesco customer. What the hell is that? What is your motto here? Every little helps, and anything short of that, we're gonna burn you at the stake. Well, gentlemen, when the pumpkin hits the fan, some customers run and some customers stay. And here's Mr. Patch facing the fire, and there's other customers hiding in Big Tesco's pocket. And you're gonna reward them, and you're gonna destroy Mr. Patch. Are you finished, Mr. Pumpkin? Oh, I'm just getting warmed up. I don't know who went to this place. Blake Island, Frank Ocean, or Blady. Whoever. Their spirit is dead. If they ever had one, it's gone. Stand down, Mr. Pumpkin. You are out of order. Out of order? You don't know what out of order is, Mr. Tesco. I'd show you, but I'm too old, I'm too tired, and I'm too pumpkin blind. If I were the man I was five years ago, I would have taken a pumpkin-shaped flamethrower to this place. But this... This is all I have now! You think you're merely sending this splendid pumpkin carver back to Rodham with his tail between his legs, but I tell you, you are crushing his soul! And to Blake, Frank, and Blady, wherever you are out there, pumpkin to you too! Just because he's not a pumpkin club card owner! Hooah!